What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, and boy oh boy, do we have some news. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Vince McMahon is officially back in WWE, the backstage reaction to Vince McMahon's return, is Vince ready to sell and who's going to buy the WWE, the Rock of the Royal Rumble and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's do the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Vinnie Mac is back. Yes, the rumors are true and Vince McMahon is back in the WWE. The Wall Street Journal reported on the 5th January that McMahon sent a letter to the WWE board of directors that he planned on returning to the company and that he would block any media rights deal or sale of the company if he was barred from returning. At first, Mr. McMahon is already back on the board of directors. Now, McMahon didn't waste any time returning to the WWE after his press release announcing his intent to return to the company. WrestleNomics Brandon Thursden tweeted, Vince McMahon is back on WWE's board of directors. A new filing says effective immediately, Vince puts himself, Michelle Wilson, and George Barrios on the board and removes independent directors Alan Wexler, Joel and Lyons Dillon, and Jeffrey Speed. Wilson and Barrios served as the WWE co-presidents until McMahon fired them in 2020 and replaced them with Nick Khan. The WWE also confirmed this with a press release, as today we announced the founder of WWE, Vince McMahon, will be returning to the board. We also welcome back Michelle Wilson and George Barrios to our board of directors. Together we look forward to exploring all the strategic alternatives to maximize shareholder value. The WWE board of directors sent a letter to Vince McMahon dated 27th December that stated, it is also our unanimous view that your return to the company at this time, while government investigations into your conduct by the US Attorney's Office and NSEC are still pending, will not be prudent from a shareholder value perspective. Events return despite the board of directors' protest. McMahon holds majority voting shares and chose to ignore the board's opposition. What was the reaction backstage? Well, Vince's return led to a big bump in the value of WWE stock, with analysts speculating it went up due to the perception that the WWE will be put up for sale soon. The WWE paused the sale of its stock briefly on Friday as the price continued to soar. Trading has resumed. The former WWE Kingpin issued a press release on 5th January indicating his intent to return to the WWE. Nonetheless, Vince's return took many inside the company by surprise. However, as PW Insider commented recently, the potential for a McMahon comeback was always there. There have been a lot of people in the company living in denial that this could happen, even though all of the forward-looking statements the company has released over the last half year have noted through his beneficial ownership of a substantial majority of our Class B common stock, our controlling stockholder Vincent Kennedy McMahon could exercise ultimate control over our affairs, and his interests may conflict with the holders of our Class A common stock. A December Wall Street Journal article also revealed that Vince was mulling a return and that rumor had he felt he retired after receiving bad advice. There's already talk of wrestlers worried about Vince's return. However, should the wrestlers be worried? Well, it depends on whether Vince is looking to sell the company or help negotiate a rights deal. If McMahon is returning to facilitate a sale, he may not want to rock the boat by taking control back for creative. On the other hand, if he's using a sale as a pretext for a return to power, there could be many recently returned wrestlers who will be looking for work. Although the business world seems focused on Vince's return, one has to ask whether anyone is working behind the scenes to send Vince McMahon back to retirement. If Vince returns to his seat running the company, what does that mean for Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan, the current co-CEOs in Triple H, the WWE's chief content officer? In December 2022, McMahon sent a letter to the WWE expressing his confidence in the current management team. I want to be very clear that I wholeheartedly believe that the WWE has an exceptional management team in place. Stephanie, Nick, Paul and the rest of the management team have my full and unconditional support and as executive chairman. While Vince may be happy, he may also feel nobody does it better than him, regardless of how exceptional their work has been. On a lighter note, Vinnie Mac's grandson, Declan McMahon, Shayna Mac's son, posted his opinion on social media, saying, to be honest, W. Next up, WWE holding a meeting with employees. Vinnie Mac's big comeback is happening quickly and Fightful Select Sean Ross Sapp is reporting there will be a WWE employee meeting today. Now, this should be quite the meeting and we will continue monitoring the story. Can Vince pull off his return? The case can be made that Vince's return is part of his plan to sell the company. 
There's also the possibility he's using the sale or rights deal as a pretext to regain control of the company. However, Vince's return may not be as easy as it appears, a situation we discussed at length on our website. Consider some of these points. Number 1. The federal government launched an investigation into the activities surrounding Vince McMahon's hush money scandal. As mentioned before, it's unlikely McMahon would be allowed to exercise any authority while under investigation without opening the WWE up to liability from shareholders or perhaps even government officials. Number 2. If the board allows Vince back, shareholders could file suit, claiming the board of directors is not exercising its duty of care to act prudently. And number three, there's also the possibility that McMahon's presence as a chairman of the board could create further lawsuits. After all, if a company brings back someone with a documented history of bad behavior, the claim can be made they are condoning a hostile work environment. Now, whether or not Vince McMahon cares about any of these possibilities is unknown. But if the WWE does go up for sale, who might buy it? Well, PW Insider is reporting NBC Universal, owned by Comcast, has always been the most likely company to me. In addition to having the USA Network, they also have Peacock. They also have NBC, which could become the home of pay-per-view broadcasts and other special events as it gets harder for networks to get eyes on programming. Also, by purchasing WWE, they would have control of the asset. They would choose who ran it and how they did so. They would also have control of how it would air and the cost of doing so built right in. Fox is also someone I'm sure the WWE would reach out to, as is Disney. The buyer that makes the most sense has the most important thing the WWE needs, a place to air the product. It remains to be seen whether the WWE goes up for sale. If the WWE is able to put itself up for sale despite the Vince McMahon situation, who do you think will buy it? Next up, does a Royal Rumble poster hint at The Rock's return? Vince's return isn't the only news story in wrestling, as a recent Royal Rumble poster has some renewed observers believing that The Rock will show up at the upcoming PLE. Give Me Sports' Luke Collins recently discussed a poster on why some fans think it's a hint of The Rock's return. The likes of Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, Becky Lynch, Charlotte and Roman Reigns are clear to see, but the feature that has fans most excited is the electricity in the background. Fans believe that the background could signal the return of the most electrifying man in all of sports entertainment, The Rock. The WWE reportedly has backup plans in case The Rock doesn't show up, with Cody Rhodes picked as the most likely superstar to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania should The Rock be unable to compete. But did they spoil Cody's Royal Rumble return? The aforementioned Royal Rumble promo poster has some fans upset as they believe it's ruined Cody Rhodes' so-called surprise return to The Rumble. Sportskeeda reported, WWE recently released a poster for the Royal Rumble 2023. The company updated it to add Cody Rhodes to the graphic, making fans believe that this spoiled the former AEW TNT champion's return at the upcoming premium live event. The WWE began airing hype videos for Cody Rhodes' return, so the idea that this poster somehow ruined his return seems questionable. But what do you guys think? Next up, WWE looking to sign former NXT star. A former NXT superstar is currently working in Major League Wrestling, but he could be back in the WWE. Edge and Duka, who has gotten rave reviews from management here, has his contract coming due imminently and there's interest in him from multiple promotions including WWE, having expressed some interest in bringing him back. And Duka 34 is 6 foot 5 high level bodybuilder and former college footballer who bounced around Canadian football, arena football and some NFL camps until signing with the WWE in 2018 and becoming Ezra Judge. And finally, WWE still negotiating with Naomi? Last but not least, this week's Observer has an update on whether Naomi has any desire to return to the WWE. While Sasha Banks' WWE profile has been moved to the active roster to the alumni section, Naomi is still on the active roster, suggesting that WWE hasn't abandoned the idea of her returning to the company after walking out last May. According to Meltzer, regarding Trinity Fatu returning, talks are ongoing but nothing has been signed as of midweek. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.